So what if I told you there are two things out there in this world that if you completely stop doing, if you erase these things out of your life, you can become a millionaire in some time throughout your life just by erasing these things completely out of your life. We're going to be talking about that in this video, so let's do it. So the two things I want to talk about in today's video are listed right here on my whiteboard and I have an average cost for both of these things and for one of these things I have the high cost in the highest state in the United States on average right so let's just take a look at this first thing right here and yes that is cigarettes so remember these numbers guys the average cost per pack of cigarettes these are United States numbers is seven dollars right the New York cost, which is the most expensive state to buy cigarettes in the United States of America, is $12.95, but I rounded up to $13 for the sake of this video. And the second thing that we're going to be talking about here is cable television, guys. So the average cost per month of cable television is $85. So these are the numbers that we're going to be playing with. And you may be asking yourself, how can you become a millionaire by simply cutting out these two things? So I'm going to hop into my computer, actually go to a compound interest calculator and show you guys, if you were to save this money here, right? We're going to go through a couple of different scenarios and you used this money to invest in the stock market for the sake of this video at an 8% to a 12% interest rate compounded annually. You can become a millionaire in some years. So let's hop right into my computer and talk about this on a further basis. All right, guys. So here we are, the compound interest calculator. So before we do start plugging in some numbers and going through a couple of different scenarios, let's talk about what compound interest is in the first place for everybody out there that has no idea. So the gist of what compound interest is, is let's say for example, you have $1,000 and you invest in the stock market and you make an 8% return on that $1,000 in one year. After that year, you're going to have $1,080. And this is when compound interest starts to kick in. That second year, let's say you make another 8%, that 8% is not only going to be applied to your original principal, which was $1,000, it's also going to be applied to that $80 that you made in the first year, right? So pretty much, guys, compound interest is interest making interest and Every single year that goes by, you make more money from the money that you made from your original principal years ago, right? And you can imagine that over the span of 10, 20, 30 years, how big this sum of money can become, you know, simply from the formula of compound interest. So let's pull up my little calculator here and start to play out with a couple of different scenarios from back on that whiteboard. Remember, the average cost of cigarettes is $7 per pack. And unfortunately, guys, a bunch of people out there do smoke a pack of cigarettes per day, right? So on average, that's going to be $7 per day times seven, which is $49 per week on cigarettes times Four, which is going to be $196 per month on cigarettes times 12. And that's going to give us $2,352, $2,352 per year on cigarettes. So let's just hop right into this compound interest calculator to see if a person smoking a pack a day, if they completely quit smoking cigarettes, how much money will they have in terms of 10 years from now, 20 years, 30 years? How long is it going to take them to become a millionaire with an 8 to 12% interest rate? So in this case, we're not going to start out with the principal, right? We're going to keep the principal zero, but the annual addition is going to be that 2352 that you're saving from simply not smoking, right? So 23 52, let's say you make an 8% return compounded 
annually, right? So let's say, let's see rather, how much money are, are you going to have after 10 years of just not smoking daily, not finishing a pack of cigarettes at $7 per day daily? Let's see, guys, calculate that. So simply from not smoking, you're going to have $36,798. And you're probably like, Stas, that's not millionaire status, right? But wait, Take a look at this, guys. Let's just let's just keep going through this. So, 20 years from now, you're going to have $116,000. And remember, this is at an 8%, which is the average stock market return historically. If you're an above average investor, let's say you're making 12%, the numbers compound even bigger. So, let's say you're making or rather let's say 30 years Let's see what that's going to be. Now we're talking some more, uh, you know, big money, right? A quarter million dollars, $287,000. And let's say 40, 40 years, you're going to start getting closer and closer to millionaire status, $658,000. What about 50 years? Now we're officially millionaires, guys. So think about that. You didn't start out with any principal. You're just not smoking, 23 52 per year compounded for 50 years at 8%, you're going to have $1.4 million, right? Absolutely amazing. So let's say you're 20 years old. Unfortunately, a lot of people start smoking from a young age, right? From 20 to 70, right? That's 50 years. You'll have $1.5 million from not smoking, right? Simply not smoking. And you can have, you know, a job that pays a lot of money. And if you're investing with that money, you're going to be a multi, multi, multi millionaire, guys. It's absolutely unbelievable. And with the way people are living nowadays, you know, 70 years old, you might still have 10, 20 years of life to enjoy that $1.5 million. And let's say, you know, we're doing 12% interest. Let's go back to 10 years and do the whole thing again. You know, if you're making 10% or 12% 10 years, you're going to have $46,000. In 20 years, right, you're going to have $189,000. In 30 years, you're going to have $635,000. In 40 years, you're going to have $2 million, $2 million at a 12% compounded interest rate for 40 years. So think about it from 20 to 60, just not smoking cigarettes, guys, not smoking cigarettes, you're going to have $2 million. So let's hop back over here to the calculator very quickly. And let's see, you know, if you live in New York, that high price of $13, this is when the numbers are going to get fun, guys. Take a look at this. So let's say you smoke a pack a day in New York, which a lot of people smoke a pack a day in New York, 13 times uh, 7, right, 7 days in the week, that's $91 per week in cigarettes, times 4, that's $364 per month in cig on cigarettes, times 12, that's $4,368 a year on cigarettes. So four, three, six, eight, let's pop that back into this calculator here at 10 years. Let's say we start out with that 8% again, that's going to be $68,000 after 10 years compounded at 8%, 20 years. That's going to be $215,000 guys, 30 years, $534,000, unbelievable, 40 years, that's going to be $1.2 million. So if you live in New York from 20 to 60, you don't smoke cigarettes at $13 per pack, 8% compounded in, uh, you know, annually, you're going to have $1.2 million. And take a look, guys, if we hop back to that 12%, this is when the numbers get very, very big. So in 10 years, eighty-five dollars right? 20 years, you're going to have $350,000, guys. So from 20 years old to 40, if you just don't smoke cigarettes and you live in the city, you have, you know, a job in the city, whatever you're doing, you're going to have 350 k from just not smoking cigarettes. This blows my mind. It's unbelievable, right? So from, for 30 years, you're going to have $1.1 million. And again, this is when the numbers get insane. So from 20 to 50 years old, if you start or if you uh, start investing, you stop smoking at 20, you start investing that money instead, $1.1 million. Take a look at this, $43.7 million. And 50, guys, this is going to blow your mind right here, 11 <laughs> 11, I'm laughing when I'm saying this because this just blows my mind, right? 11 million dollars, 11.7 
this is unbelievable. So that are those are the numbers really if you just simply not smoke a pack a day. So now for the second example here, the cable television. This is going to take you a bit longer to become a millionaire, but it's still very, very possible. So let's pull out our calculator here, our dandy old calculator, and let's start doing some math, right? So we saw $85 is the average monthly cost of cable. So 85 times 12, that's going to be $1,020. So that's, you know, a little bit, really it's a lot less than the cigarettes in terms of a yearly cost, but you can still become a millionaire through your lifetime by simply cutting out this one little thing that a lot of people don't even use anymore, right? Cable is something that no one really uses anymore. You know, Netflix, Hulu, you know, Apple's coming out, the streaming service, Disney, all these different platforms are a lot, a lot cheaper to use than cable. And if you don't even like Netflix, Hulu, whatever, you can, you know, save on not even using those either, right? So let's just say, for example, you don't use Netflix, you don't use anything, you don't watch TV at all, right? Let's see how much you can save from just really investing that 1020 per year at an 8% return for 10 years. Let's see how much that's going to be. So that's going to be 15,958 at 8%. So again, that's not that much, right? That is not millionaire status. But let's say 20 years, that's going to be 50,411. How about 30 years? 120, uh, 124, 792. How about 40 years? That's going to be 285, 376. 50 years, that's going to be $632,000. So 60 years, that's when you're going to become a millionaire. And again, this is really, it's going to take a little bit more to become a millionaire by just simply cutting out cable. But the idea here is that throughout your lifetime, you can become a millionaire by simply cutting out a tiny expense in your life. That's the whole purpose of this video, right? You can really do this with anything, right? You know, take a look at um, your monthly expenses, right? If you're paying $30 at a gym per month and you don't use that gym membership, plug it into the compound interest calculator to see how long it's going to take you to become a millionaire by just simply canceling that out, right? And this, for in 60 years, guys, if you're 20 to the time you're 80, you're going to have $1.3 million by simply not having cable your entire life, right? And you'll become a millionaire even quicker at a 12% interest rate. Let's just do that very quickly again, right? So in 10 years at 12% compounded in, uh, annually, $20,000. In 20 years, you're going to have $82,000. In 30 years, you're going to have $275,000. And in 40 years, guys, drum roll, oh, not yet, $876,000. And in 50 years, that's when you're going to become a multi-millionaire, $2.7 million. Let's see exactly when you're going to become a millionaire, probably 45 years, maybe 42 years. All right, let's say 42 years. So from 20 to 62 years old, you don't have cable. You're going to become a millionaire in 42 years at 12% compounded annually. So those are just a couple examples to get you thinking, you know, if you cut out some expenses, guys, you plug them into this compound interest calculator, this will get you understanding how investing and in compound interest works and how you can become a millionaire by simply cutting out a hundred dollars, even a hundred to two hundred dollars per month in your expenses, whatever those expenses are, they don't have to be cigarettes, they don't have to be cable, whatever they are, just cut them out, invest eight to 12 percent, you'll become a millionaire in your lifetime. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to go down below, hit that like button. It really supports me and the channel in general. If you want to see more content from me, I make a bunch of stock market videos, trading, uh, you know, investing, analysis, personal finance, stuff like that. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time that I do make a video. I'll catch you all in the next video. Again, thanks for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Peace out.